Former unified heavyweight champion Andy the Destroyer Ruiz Jr. and top contender Luis King Kong Ortiz meeting in a much-anticipated 12-round WBC heavyweight title eliminator on September 4, 2022, in a Labor Day weekend clash from Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles. We have a tremendous night of boxing this upcoming Sunday from Crypto.com Arena here in Los Angeles. Ruiz shocked the boxing world in 2019 when he was brought in as a late replacement to face heavyweight world champion Anthony Joshua and turned the tables on the champion, knocking him out in the seventh round and taking home the titles. Andy Ruiz is the heavyweight champion! With exceptional power and sublime technical skills, Ortiz has been a fixture atop heavyweight rankings for years, with his only defeats coming in memorable contests against former longtime heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. This one is especially important because the winner of this fight gets to hopefully fight for the world champion. It's excellent that Ruiz is finally taking the fight against the 43-year-old former two-time heavyweight world title challenger Ortiz, but it's troubling that it's taken him over a year to face him. It took a split second for Andy Ruiz Jr. to remind the boxing world just how dangerous he could be. Lost his belts, refocused. Right hand beat, this is the first off he's ever faced, and there's a left hand that knocks him. He's dropped in his last fight. The most exciting round of the fight was the second, with Ruiz dropping Ortiz with a big right hand to the side of the head and scoring a second knockdown moments later as Ortiz had yet to recover his equilibrium. There's a big left and a right hand drops Ortiz! And there's a right hand! There's a second knockdown and I believe Ortiz's legs still aren't up. Ortiz trying to tie him up and there's a right hand! There's a right hand, a huge left hand, right when he was coming in. Less than a minute, straight left connected. Gentlemen, watch those hands. Gentlemen, right hand middle. just missed the jaw, another ace. And that's the end of the round. Ruiz would take his foot off the gas after the explosive second frame and Ortiz would continually grab control of the pace of the fight with little more than a sharp and disciplined jab. The 43-year-old Cuban had decent spells and boxed tidily, though, as he landed solid jabs that prevented Ruiz was ever dominating the contest. There's a right hand and now Ortiz. Both men really engaged towards the end of that audience, picking their moments. Ortiz looking for Ruiz. Tied up and there's a right hand by too much. However, Ruiz remained patient and managed to uncoil a compact right hook to the temple that put Ortiz back on the canvas in the seventh round. There's another one. Ortiz being very close and a right hand puts Ortiz down. especially when you get tied up and there's an out on top because he's just so quick and shot to the bottom and straight right here despite ruiz pushing forward 
Ortiz again used his excellent boxing acumen to remain in the fight. He's really starting to separate himself. There's another left hand. Ortiz now with the straight left. There's a left hand to the body by Ortiz. on his moments to explode. However, every time Ortiz stood and traded, Ruiz usually won the exchanges. Makes it very hard for Andy to come. Another jab. Another right hand. Ortiz's left eye was badly damaged, swelling exacerbated by a brutal straight right hand that connected in the waning moments of round 11. Andy sees it. If you're Ortiz, you gotta ramp it up now. Ruiz seems to be one. Ruiz Ortiz, but there is still danger. Uppercut by Ortiz, and now Andy. Another right hand. And another uppercut. The knockdowns were the deciding factor, as two of the three judges gave both men six rounds, and one saw it seven to five in favor of Ortiz. Fans are on their feet. Both men in the center of the ring, and that does it. It was pretty difficult, man, but the ability that I have of me counterpunching and waiting for him to load up and me counter him, and I thought I did a beautiful job boxing him around, and I thought I showed some different class that I usually do instead of just pressuring and going Destroyer. forward.